this is Manny Papamanos with Autodesk Soft Image Technical Support. Here's a character I've been working on, and uh, basically I'm going to demonstrate some interesting features inside Soft Image. Uh, some of them we take uh, them for granted, and uh, here goes. So uh, some of them are really, really basic. Uh, take this for instance. Uh, this is actually a uh, just a curve. Um, now this is unfinished work, this is still work in progress, something I've, uh, I've been working on on my uh, spare time here. Uh, so um, let's uh, reset the transforms and notice that uh, it returns to its initial position. Uh, this is essentially a controller, it could be any object, it could be a null also. Um, how do we do this? Um, look at this. Polygon, me polygon mesh cube. Let me just uh, scale it down here. Where's that cube? too small. Okay, assuming I like the cube's position here and slightly rotate it as such, um, great. I want to move it and prefer that it returns here when I reset the transforms. Well, if you set a neutral pose, uh, notice that it now neutralized the values, the center stays where it's uh, on its center and uh, I'm free to uh, move that around, rotate, and at any uh, at any point bring it back just by hitting Control shift r Great, and uh, we can see what's happening under the hood here. Con uh, if I hit Control k open the kinematics properties here, neutral pose. Notice that uh, it's essentially um, um, those initial value values are set as offsets, and that's really all it is. Uh, I can hit reset here and basically that removes the neutral pose I can now uh, you know go and uh, predefine a new one if I want uh, again whoop, neutral pose I could also remove it from here of course and uh, so on so essentially that's what this is for instance I can rotate this rotate this at will move it obviously I'm exaggerating here bring it back um, same thing here right and uh, actually this is a uh, null this uh, element also is a null as far as I know if I remember it is a null and essentially in the beginning it started off as being as such um, this is something that we uh, may also take for granted I tend to use these um, uh, nulls uh, in uh, shadow display mode uh, pretty often as you can see here I made like a simple uh, box that's just there for aesthetics actually um, set that to uh, my primary display I can set that to none my shadow could be box and then I can play with the scale and stuff um, so this becomes uh, pretty interesting um, you can use these as uh, controllers and what's really cool about them is that uh, notice that this controller controls an area here uh, probably um, associated to weight um, I can, if I'm not uh, satisfied with its position, I can always offset the null, and it won't affect the weighting, of course. Uh, here we go. So, assuming I want the um, controller to uh, uh, be outside of the nose, I can simply move it from here, control it as such. You get the message. Now, uh, as I was uh, working with my shape here, um, these are my uh, vowels and consonants. Um, notice that I like to stick the teeth with my mesh. Um, why? P pretty much uh, because uh, soft mesh is pretty open like that. You can stick elements, um, uh, merge them onto one, and uh, just deal with one shape cluster at the end. So notice that I was dealing. Finally, I was dealing with this one. He oh, it's not connected. Let me connect it quickly. Also, I'll have a chance to show you the shape manager, animate shape manager. Notice that also an interesting feature inside Soft Image is once you call a tool, um, I had gone to shape manager. Um, that's the last tool I had requested from in here. If I middle mouse click it, it'll open the shape manager. So that's pretty uh, uh, useful. Uh, let me not show the affected points. And finally, I wanted to modify this one here, right? Yeah, let me go to animate and just 
to make this a little bigger. Okay, so uh, link with this element here, which uh, link with is also called set driven keys in another popular software. Um, here we go on the position x link set relative values. When I have this set as such, I want this letter to be set as such and set relative values, and that works excellent. So yeah, the uh, shape manager is pretty um, great actually. Uh, it's very easy to modify your shapes, create them, duplicate them from a source that's already there. Um, let me show you some of the eyebrow control that I have here. Um, so th this essentially is calling uh, shapes inside the uh, shape manager. Uh, let me just reset that. Once again, I have a neutral pose set there. So all I have to do to reset it is hit Control Shift R. Um, so yeah, the way um, the shape manager works is pretty um, great. Um, if I'm not happy with any shapes, I can simply modify them in here quickly using the proportional, for instance. Uh, I can uh, also the uh, this is something else. The M shortcut will control points edges or polys depending on where you're positioned on the uh, element uh, so let's assume I, I move polys here I want to keep the symmetry perhaps yeah, let me open the proportional there and uh, actually I don't want to affect these points so I'll check this here so let me just modify this shape a bit bring those teeth a little lower Great. Uh, once I'm done, you can always test it. That'll obviously work. 